Grown up in a New York Italian neighborhood, Carl Del Preti has vivid memories of what grocery shopping used to be. You went to the butcher for your meats and you went to the local fish store for your fish and there was a fruit market that you would go to. That experience was the basis for a small produce market he and his partners opened in 1998. Since then, six larger format stores have opened in New York and New Jersey, and in them, a new look and feel where every department is a destination. I'm trying to evoke the feeling of being in an outdoor market where you're going to the different locations. That's why in our produce area you'll see the sky above. It's to enhance the customer experience. The first stop is Uncle Giuseppe's Amazing Deli. Our deli, uh, needless to say, is um, a focal point of the store, and if you notice, that's how we lead you into our stores, very unique to the industry. Uncle Giuseppe's has high standards for their over 100 fresh deli selections and tests them for several days to ensure leftovers have the same quality as the day they're first prepared. Three days it has to be. It has to be the fresh made version, the one day version, and the two day version. And that's how we taste test any of our dishes. Sharing the love of preparing authentic Italian dinners inspired Uncle GTV, offering recipes, product knowledge, and cooking tips. Special recipe for Uncle Giuseppe's lobster marinara. It's all coming up next on Uncle GTV. If you come in the store and you're not sure of what you want to cook for tonight, um, you might buy a prepared dish, but then you can also come, go over either online or in an in-store kiosk and pop up a recipe, print it out, shop the store, and, and then look at the video and see how it's made. Quality and fresh are themes carried throughout the store. We have fresh prepared seafood dishes ready to take home um, uh, as we do in our deli case, same principle applies. All of the cookies, biscotti, uh, pastry, made in-house every day. The warm mozzarella made um, during the day. Uh, and then we have our pasta section where the fresh ravioli are being made, um, and the fresh shells stuffed. Now people come here with the idea of wanting to uh, experience the luxury of good food at a very reasonable price, by the way. I mean, it, it's not expensive to eat well at Uncle Giuseppe's. Over the years, Carl and his team have developed relationships with growers and manufacturers in Italy and offer imported items throughout the store. Products that have earned the G brand convey a special message to customers. The customer knows that if they see that G, that the quality is there. And everything with that G on it is value priced. So that's going to be less expensive than your typical high-end provolone, but the quality is the same. In addition to the Italian market, Uncle Giuseppe's stores have a complete grocery offering and stay on top of what's new. You'll see an entire section of kombuchas. Uh, that have become popular. Uh, we recently put in a, a whole new line of craft beers and that's been very, very successful in bringing in that younger millennial shopper. Carl is particularly proud of Uncle Giuseppe's nearly 1,400 employees and their commitment to customer service. Good to see you, Hello, Lou. How are you? Good morning. Hey. Good morning. How's everything? How, how, how are we beautiful. looking? Beautiful. Everything's Doing wonderful. Great job. Thank fresh, you so much. Fresh as tomorrow. Fresh. Yeah, <laughs> it's really important that when a customer come here, they feel like this is their store, that they're comfortable, and that the person behind the counter that's serving them wants to serve them. And we, we so we look for that kind of um, energy and enthusiasm in the employees. And what's the final impression Carl wants customers to have as they leave the store? I think we have it up on the. Uh, up on the wall it says, Chi se mangia bene, and that means in Italian, here one eats well. I think that sums it up.